Over the past couple of weeks, we've had a lot of fun checking out every add-on as soon as it drops. Today, we're gonna do something a little bit different. You see, it's not that these new add-ons don't intrigue me, because absolutely they do. Security, mounts and dragons, and the full version of Spark Pets is beautiful. But, far for that high price of $8, I think this is on par with the naturalist add-on as the most expensive one. Now this one makes some pretty tall promises. Allegedly, with this inside of your world, you'll get over 160 new things. We're talking crops, we're talking mobs, we're talking even more. Now, I don't want to be something of a hater or anything, but immediately a terrible flavor of bad taste is put in my mouth. No pun intended at all, because it's all about uh, the food, you know? But take a close look at this picture, and I start to realize that images are being repeated all over this thing. Right there, right there. Right there, right there, right there, right there. I mean, so far, ducks, it's beautiful, it looks wonderful, but I don't love exactly the idea of making this look like there's a million trillion things when it's literally. Anyways, tap that like button, subscribe if you're not, a lot of you aren't, and before I finish checking out, let's get right into the action. Ha, ah, nothing quite like a new Minecraft world. The smell of the air, the sound of the wind, the taste of the battle and trees, and of course the memory that this entire world and everything inside of it costs, no, 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 not free, eight dollars inside of this magical book, 37 new crops, 160 new consumables, and nine animals, oh my. So I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't fully finish reading that book, so I'm not exactly sure how to go about finding these new crops, but I figured probably the first move, the best move, would be give my myself a spyglass and head off into the distant biome that is known for not having any life at all. So I gotta be honest, as a big fan of Stardew Valley and just farming in general, the idea of a more crops inside of Minecraft is something that has always intrigued me. Of course, over Java side, we've got a ton of different fire mods like Farmer's Delight, and many of these different mods add the exact promise for that low price of free 99 a farming and food overhaul update. Just a bit of wandering later, and I've now found myself smack dab in the middle of biomes much more fit for beautiful new plant life. And speaking of new plant life, I've done it the very first new plant life of the day today. Inside of the jungle biome, you can find one of the most expensive fruits of all time, the avocado. I don't know if this is an avocado tree. Let's find out. Oh. The idea of running around the world, go out and find more crops inside of your world, I love it, it's beautiful, you know, speaking of beautiful, grass, grass is going to be one of our number one friends here today, cauliflower seeds, onion seeds, we run around our world and randomly break grass, and hopefully from time to time, we get lucky enough to get some of the new seeds. From the sounds of things, having some sort of automatic grass farm might just maybe become one of the best things to have in the entire world, because from the looks of things, a lot of the different seeds that you're going to find are going to be found in the exact same way find some grass inside of your world and start breaking it as far as i'm aware all of these crops that you can get from the grass it doesn't matter they're buying now whew, we're looking good really loaded up with a ton of new crops but before that there is a couple more things i'd like to find you my dear friend what in the world are you you're definitely a tree oh you're a very cool tree go ahead and do that a couple times and ah yes the lemons haha <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, more crops we farm in the same old plain old way, I mean it's a nice sounding idea for sure, but one of my favorite concepts here is the idea of maybe a little bit more trees inside of the game. What in the world are you? Alright, and uh, yeah, I just uh, de-manifested itself. Is this a strawberry bush? Is this perhaps maybe a strawberry bush? It is! I love strawberries. What in the world is this little thing around here? Oh, it's a new tree, perhaps maybe a banana tree? Yeah, that's definitely a banana tree. What happens if I break the banana? Oh, it's instant. Brand new Minecraft mobs. My, 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 a deer. Oh, an innocent deer just wandering off towards the village. Aha, and on that note, creative mode. They did not lie from the looks of things. It looks like there sure is a quite a bit of items inside of this mod. However, over 160, well, maybe that's gonna come in when you start getting a bunch of different variants of the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You like ice cream? Well, oh boy, you've got every ice cream type in the world. Now, food is food, which means you're gonna get that food inside of your world, and then you're gonna consume that food. The different foods that I've tested out restore a different amount of hunger. What in the world are you? Cranberries. A strawberry, sweet, delicious strawberry. Are you overpowered? Are you very good? No, you're not very good at all. So that's the thing, you're gonna get a bunch of new crops, but just going out in plain old eating the crops, maybe not exactly your best move. 
No, no, no. Instead, maybe it's about time we head over to our local village, defile a nearby building, and make ourselves our very first crafting table of the world. One solid bit of adventuring later, and now we can go ahead and actually start the real upgrades inside of this pack. For example, french fries. You want to craft french fries, your dream? Well, it's just done inside of the normal crafting table. Strawberry jam? Same exact thing. A giant component of this brand new farming and fooding update is going to be iron. Build yourself that iron beauty. Get yourselves a ton of ingots and then turn them into tin cans. With a tin can, we can go ahead and make preserve. With a tin can, we can go ahead and make ourselves tint cranberries. That is sort of like a storage situation. When you need them back out of the tin, you go ahead and recraft them and back out of the tin. The idea of being able to condense food down is fire. It's really cool. Do these bushes act like your normal bushes, like sweetberry bushes? Well, indeed, my friend, they do not. You can move right through them just like normal. Like they don't even slow you down or nothing. Anyways, I think it's about time we go ahead and get ourselves to a little bit of farming. So these brand new crops, and oh boy, there's a whole lot of them. From what I've seen, when you plant these things down, there is that attention to detail there where each crop is going to look a little bit different. No matter what it is, I always get a little bit nervous when we have something with like a ton of different things. Like sure, the idea of even more crops is a really fire cool idea. But if in some theoretical world, they're all just literally copy and paste versions of each other, then maybe it's not such a cool idea after all. Now, a really cool thing that I've noticed with some of these crops compared to other crops is some of them have different growth stages, which I do believe is going to make some of them take a little bit longer to actually grow up. That one just had three. This one, I don't remember what it is. Spinach is one of the ones with like a couple more growth stages. The stuff is good looking. Like it looks really cool. Now, surely in the promise of a gigantic food and farming update, all of the cooking wouldn't just be done at the crafting table, right? There's a new workstation, right? Wrong. At least I'm pretty sure wrong. See, the thing is, with a big food and farming update, there's so much opportunity for frying table, for different type of furnace, for literally anything else, and not just do it all on the side of the crafting table, but yeah, I think that's how it's done. And for the most part, that's how it's done. I present you the juicer. Inside of a juicer, we take something like, say, strawberries, and go ahead and queue it up, add it to the juicer, and it becomes a really fire-looking, well, juicer but also base decoration. Glass bottle, we go ahead and walk up to it and interact with it, and just like that, I get myself a little bit of strawberry juice. I go ahead and drink the strawberry juice, and it actually refills hunger. Even more cool, you can take these juicers, decorate your base like crazy, get different flavors of juice inside of them. Next up, I've got a fully filled up juicer. We use a glass bottle on it, and it only takes a little bit, like a couple layers of juice. This one's gonna be apple juice. Go ahead and drink the apple juice, and you will find the same exact thing happens. The trees, I gotta go back to them for a second because this is what I really, really love. Vanilla Minecraft, the idea of getting fruit trees that would actually like produce not just an oak tree that drops an apple every once in a while. Please, please allow me to get it. Maybe make them a little bit more like the vanilla trees. Nothing against these ones, these are pretty fire, but you know, vanilla game is vanilla Minecraft. But yeah, the idea of even more trees in the game with fruits, renewable, reproducing, are just a great way to like, you know, decorate up your base with some pretty peach trees. Sure. It's kind of funny because this update is not all about just like making juice, but <laughs> so far this is like my favorite thing. With a fully grown, ready to go fruit tree, go ahead and walk up to it, interact with it, and the fruit is dropped on the ground. Turn around, place your juicer down, put the fruit inside of the- come on, no peach juice? Come on. After that, I would give it a little bit more time or give it a little bit more bone meal to basically begin the fruit growing process again. I love this. This is Stardew Valley. What in the world? is that <laughs> oh hi what are you so that's quite possibly the perfect segue you want new mobs we've got them not for sheer numbers i gotta be honest i recommend the naturalist add-on instead but for small animals like just add a little bit of ambiance to your world oh it's kind of beautiful it's kind of a little derpy looking i'll admit it a little goofy looking duck but <laughs> it is definitely more mobs than the sound design <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful sounding. I love the idea of more birds in Minecraft. Now these mobs are gonna be brand new mobs you'll be able to find spawning around your world naturally, the bison. Look, I feel like I probably shouldn't do this, but if I, oh yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. I definitely shouldn't have done that. Now last but not least today, I'd like to go ahead and go back and take a look at some of these crafting recipes because some of the recipes get a little bit more advanced. For example, the jam toast, you're gonna need to get sliced bread and jam before you can actually make the toast. That's gonna mean for jam, you're gonna need to go out and farm any of these fruits and then for bread well for bread I've got great news you already have productive bread farm inside of your world all you need to do is take it and go ahead and condense the bread down into sliced bread one bread into five slices 
Oh, in the villagers. Oh, you're a genius. You can do it. You you work. You will go and harvest the food. I don't think you'll pick it up. It doesn't look like you care about it. Oh, but you're harvesting it and replacing it. Oh, God, with all of beetroot. You want beetroot farm instead of multi-produce, multicultural, cross-pollinating dream vegetable garden of my, my dreams? Anyways, Vanilla Minecraft has already got some foods in the game, for example, apples, and they've gone ahead and actually incorporated this stuff into the game. So like an apple tree, for example, you're gonna need to go out into the world and find yourself apple saplings before you can just like walk to the ground and plant an apple, that's not gonna work. But you can use the vanilla food with the food added in. I like it. I'm sorry though, I'm a simple man, kohlrabi, very beautiful, but <laughs> I think the juicers is where it's at for me. And so that's the cooking, the farming and fooding update of all time what do you think does minecraft actually need this many crops or is it good right now i want to send a big thank you to my patrons archangel ground crazy may medical boom six whoopie louvers noodle pork bill w tanner b austin v andrew h and gabriel y for today's showcase we did a bit more of a deep dive into one single add-on which format do you like more do you want me to do individual add-ons more or do you like the mashup ones where we go a little bit more rapid fire you let me know down below and next up maybe check out episode three of every add-on series thank you all for watching it's been me waddles and i'll see you all tomorrow goodbye